Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time, everyone, we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generations Titans Return uh, Legends Class Gnaw. As you can see, his ultimate mode is that of a Cybertronian alien um, uh, shark creature of death. Well, basically, he's, he's one of the. He's a Sharkticon. Um, the fire colors mostly for him gray, pink, light blue, or all spark blue. Translucent for the eyes, which is pretty awesome. Silver, pink, Decepticon symbol, and that's about it. Um, so yeah, all in all, Now Hero is pretty good. Does have a tail, which can move up and down. Um, so there's that. Um, does have his arms can only go up and down. That's about it. His mouth, due to the way he's made. It can't really go up and down. You can move the lower jaw a bit. Um, okay, you can move these bits up and down. But if you do that, you can see that the, um, his backside of his head. So, it's no big deal. All in all, Nah here looks pretty good. It's pretty, pretty interesting. I love this figure. He does come with this mace weapon, much like in the 1986 film with all the Sharktacons fighting uh, uh, Hot Rod and Cup. Um, so yeah, all in all, not here looks pretty good, pretty interesting, very outstanding to say the least. I just wish I could do what Hot Rod did to that Shark Decon in the 86 film. If you haven't seen 1986 film, check it, it's awesome. Alright, so the transformation to uh, robot mode is pretty interesting. First you want to do is flip the tail up. Next thing you want to do is you want to take the entire top half of the Shark Decon or of the, well actually first thing we do is add, as you fold the tail and split this apart and fold these guys back. We'll go to these guys for a minute and we're just going to flip these guys back along the axis um, like that and just just rest them into place. They don't tab in or anything but what can you do? As for the arms they because of their only function they can just go on the back here. Next thing you want to do is you want to take the this panel here and flip it up and there's his head, we'll get to that in a minute. Take the the arms here, extend them down and turn them around. Do the same thing on the other side, fold them down, turn them around like that. Uh, take the tail, fold it back up. Next, last thing to do is rotate the head and get him situated. And there you go, there you have non-robot mode. Oh my god, it's pretty good. He's a pretty tiny fella, he's pretty awesome. Articulation wise, head can go full 360, arms go full 360, out to the side, bend to the elbow, they rotate, and that's it. No waste due to the, due to the you know, for obvious reasons, like go forward and back, out to the side, bend to the knee, they don't rotate, and there's no foot posability whatsoever. So there's that. Taking a look at the head, um, looks pretty good. Uh, it's very uh, tober now. Oh, careful of that. He is. He is pretty tobernized, um, very lovely tobernized expression, um, and looks like he wants to play, um, but not in the way of a friendly friend la Anyhow, so taking a look at the weapons, um, you can, you know, hold it like this, have him hold it like this. There, there isn't a way to have him hold it like, like there's no like hold, handle base or anything. So there's that. Um, you can also um, undersling the weapon, which I think it's pretty awesome. I'll say that. Sadly, there is no weapon sword for my knowledge, so yeah. Um, so preferably, I just like to rotate it around, just fold it back along the side like that. Anyhow, so all in all, well, I recommend getting Gnaw. Honestly, you should get him. And my advice, if you, if you ever want to recreate any of the scenes in the 1986 film or season 3 of G1, by all means just buy one and use Photoshop to just copy paste, copy paste, copy paste, copy paste, copy paste uh, this entire figure but just the um, I don't know you know make him just make duplicates of him in Photoshop rather than just waste money buying the same figure. It's a great figure, it's uh, no doubt about it. Um, but in the end, he's incredible. Like of of the Legends figures in the Titans Return line, there is no, from my understanding, there is no 
a specified area in his alternate mode to store a Titan Master, other than maybe to eat them. Autobot ones mostly, but anyway. Nahi looks pretty good. I'd highly recommend it if you can find him. Won't be disappointed by him. Hey, looks pretty awesome. So yeah, this is my video review of the uh, Transformers Generations uh, Titans Return Legends class Nah. I will see you all very soon. I will be back as soon as possible in the next video. And yes, so take care everyone. See you soon. Have a good day. And I shall catch you all later. Bye-bye.